hey guys it is thursday i'm running out of video ideas so let's 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 do a vlog in, instead so like yeah basically the videos have been going up just like dreary i've not really had any ideas it's just that i've not been focusing on makeup um i'm not gonna lie i've just i've hardly been wearing it because i've been into gym most of the time and when i do wear it it's usually in the weekend so i've not really been buying or anything it's not really been interesting me i've been like well i've been focusing more on my website than i have on my youtube channel but you know what are you gonna do guys but yeah today i thought you know i haven't got no video ideas when you don't have any video ideas why not why not just do why not just do a vlog so again today i am off um to the gym so i go to the I've probably mentioned this before, but I go Monday to Thursday and then I Friday, Saturday, Sunday um, off. And it is lag day today, the greatest day ever. Jokes, not the greatest day ever, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, it is like, it's after half seven. I got up at half seven because, you know, I don't like doing leg day. Like, leg day I always sweat a lot. Um, because I'll chuck in um, cardio, like in half an hour to 45 minutes cardio on the treadmill. So I usually, you know, I don't like doing it when it's too hot. And I usually get pretty sweaty. But, yeah, so that is happening. And then I wanted to pick up a blender. I don't know if you can get them from Argos or what, but I, I really need a blender because, obviously, I don't know, probably not meant to do it on here, but I'm on a bulk at the minute and sometimes it's a little bit hard to get in those extra calories. Um, one, because my stomach just doesn't want it. Um, and obviously being if it's something like liquids, it's going to be a lot easier to trick it down. Like to have like, you know, you know, fruit smoothie or make my own gainer shake. It's going to be a lot easier. So there's that. So I want to get a blender. So for breakfast I am having toast and also the high pro peanut um, butter and this is just the smooth one so it doesn't have any um, chunks in it. She just ordered one right now from Argos and it should be coming on later today I thought because the one that I wanted was the one that looked really nice. Um, you like the closest store was the one near work and I was going nowhere near work today so I thought might as well just get it delivered today and pay three pound whatever for delivery so yeah Never again, guys. Never again. <laughs> Obviously, it's all about food, yeah. I carried it in two of, like, you know, the things, but it's cool bags you can buy. Two of them, I thought my arms were going to drop off. Had to get, obviously, get the bus home, but, like, jeez, man. Next time, I should probably get a taxi, because I'm tight-fisted, and I don't like getting buses anyway. I thought, you know what, I'm going to get a bus instead. It was just awkward to get on it and off it. <laughs> but... Yeah, that's where you get to the moment you don't know how to drive, but yeah, I got quite a bit because I thought 
um, I buy most of this stuff because I'm trying new things out. So instead of having like salad now, I got like pasta, um, rice and stuff just because, you know, salad's fine if I'm on like a cut or even on maintenance. But obviously because I'm struggling as it is to try and get calories in, <laughs> obviously I've brought more, you know, filling foods. Um, I also found sugar-free cookies and um, cake, which is really weird from this like health food shop. But yeah, so there's that to try out, which would be interesting, seeing it's sugar-free, but I'm guessing they've put sweeteners in it instead, but the calories aren't too bad on them either. And then, that is the cake. I should just flip over the camera to be fair, <laughs> instead of just being, <laughs> because of the screen you can flip over, obviously, so I can see to make sure that I'm actually in direct contact. contact of the um, actual camera <laughs> so I picked up quite a few fragrances now this one I actually saw in B&M and picked it up it's basically Island Fantasy but in like a spray bottle instead of in a perfume bottle and um, I've already got the perfume you know the perfume bottle version but I saw this and I thought why not pick up because I really do like this scent Island Fantasy so that I picked that from B&M but I tend to get most of my fragrances from Debenhams um, I have got one from actually two now, I've actually gotten two from Beats, but usually I just go into Debenhams. So, first off, I'll talk about this. So, this is a limited edition Nina Ricci perfume in Luna. There's another one, the original one. The, um, I can't remember what one's called now. Um, that one, um, they had a limited edition bottle as well. But, yeah, it's limited edition. I'm, like, tempted to don't, like, not to open it because it's, like, limited edition. <laughs> That's how freaking sad I am. I'll just keep it in its box and then just get Nina Ritchie. But this cost me, it said £50, but I think it was on sale because it all added up to like £40 something. So this might have been like half price or something. Now, it was supposed to come with a backpack, but they didn't have any backpacks left. So she actually gave me a Prada candy um, makeup bag. So, you know, so she did give me a gift, just not the pat pat which I thought I'd kill I thought I'd kill one stone with whatever that saying is because I do actually need a new work bag because it's gonna it's gonna fall apart because basically it's supposed to have two zips one of the zips is already broken because I it's too small <laughs> it's just too small <laughs> and I can't be asked to put my lunch box in a plastic bag so I just stuff it in there and especially when I've got my makeup bag in there as well it's kind of it's kind of a struggle but yeah so there's that I thought I could kill one, one what's it with one stone, but obviously not. And then I picked up this um, sunset fantasy. Um, I smelt this because they had like samples out, like demons always do. And this literally smells of um, smells. It reminded me of a cocktail I sometimes get from the corner shop, and I was like, well. <laughs> so I thought, you know, I'd pick that up and do a proper review of. So that's like literally the thing. So I got got quite a bit. Um, I did want to get um, Dior Sauvage, but they didn't have any in stock, so yeah. So the reason why I got a frame was to put this picture, or this drawing, should I say, of Aquaman, which I got from Manchester Comic Con, because it is so good, it needs to be framed. And trust TK Maxx to have it, where they stuck the sticker, like, of the prize sticker on the actual thing, and now it's like, it looks all weird and it's sticky around there. I don't know if you get rid of residue stick stickiness if you know then let me know down below but that is slightly annoying but i wanted a really cheap frame and boots ones are quite pricey so i just went and took it once another browse and i got this for six pound ninety nine so i quickly looked on the um receipt and the perfume the nina rich perfume paid 37 quid and that is the price for the normal edition so yeah so does that so she paid so i didn't actually pay for the limited edition desired or anything like that I mean she could have done as I said it could have been a discount or just because they didn't have any more bags but then it couldn't have been that because I paid for it before she went to have a quick look in the stock room if there was any but whatever either way that is that is a bargain guys it is a bargain so I got a few stuff from um sports direct yeah sports direct as well so these things you know when the and when the um no, re uh, registered person talks about it this is the second time um, they've like tried to plug on these these are basically wiped the day away 
the makeup um, removing wipes. So you've got like two that for eyes, two for face. Apparently these are meant to be the most gentlest ones because these contain I think like 80% micellar water. Um, I'm not a massive fan of micellar water but whatever. Um, I wasn't going to get one but two things realised I should. One, um, because these are like individual sachets. So, you know, I'm still taking a massive, like, pack of makeup wipes. Um, and that time, when I was at work, my eyes were so sore. I just needed to get this makeup off, off my eyes. And no one had makeup wipes. I was like, <sighs> yeah, no one had makeup wipes. I was like, fine. So I had to, like, wet a tissue and just wipe it off. Like, my eyes were just really sore. So that's the reason. Second of all, she says, I'll chuck in a, another pack for free. So I was like, yeah, okay. So this is them. Um, and then I picked up the US Pro hairband. Um, I'm not going to dye cut my hair anytime soon. I just can't fit an appointment. What I'm going to have to do is just book a day off, off work, which I didn't want to do it that way. I just wanted to, you know, get it done on a day where I'm not working. But it's getting hard because, obviously, um, I changed stylist because the other one was... I don't know if she's even back, but she's on maternity. And, um, you know, she's quite popular as well. So it's hard to just get her, you know... A, a appointment like in the next week or sometime week or so like short notice so it's kind of hard but I got this because when I'm <laughs> when I'm running on the treadmill my hair just gets in the way and I just don't want it in my head I'm trying to use my headphones to pull it back so I got this as a temporary sort of thing and then picked up some more some socks because I need them um I just saw these and picked these up these were uh, four pounds and then picked up two tops so the first one is this one here and it says it says you don't need a superman when you're wonder woman so i thought this that was pretty cool top and then i picked up this one Whoa, what company is this by is this us pro again yeah that's us pro and this one's also us pro and this is just um a plain pink top just says US Pro there so there's that stuff and also my blender has come so I have a sealed book start in front of you guys so yeah I'm also buying a perfume from um, somebody from work and it's called Long and I was like I need to get like she's advertising and like things she was selling I was like I need to get that like Long like what would Long smell like <laughs> I've got a feeling it's going to smell really generic, but it's just quick, like, how can you not buy a perfume that says lol? I think it's called lol. It's something random anyway, I swear it's lol, but yeah, so there's that as well. So I've got quite a few, you know, new fragrances to try out for you guys, so more content guys, more content. I was going to pick up, right, but I, I just didn't. Um the L'Oreal, because I did a review of the Paradise when they came out with another eyeshadow palette, the Berry something. I was going to pick it up, but I just put it back down. Like I, like, I slowly walked past all the make and, like, makeup, and I was like, no, no. See, like, I've just lost interest. <laughs> like, I've lost interest, but I'm now more so now I'm more conscious about how much makeup I've already got and the fact that I don't wear it every day it's not like perfume where I r literally wear it more or less every day it's you know makeup I just don't wear every day so there's no point of constantly buying more and more makeup so I know it will look bad on my channel and everything but it's not like I get sent PR or anything like that a lot of these like especially these really popular youtubers will one usually get PR sent PR um you know you know makeup sent to them through PR um so you know that's why they have tons and tons of this stuff but even then they can get really overwhelmed like you watch some of their declutterings and you know they've got like eight of the same foundation but in different you know in different shades but they were sent it and you know stuff like that so there's that and plus even if I was popular I would not get um, I would hardly get any PR because I'm one of these honest people like the problem when people send PR to you um, to youtubers or influencers and stuff like that they'll have a look and see how many negative videos have done so that could be a negative review on a com on a 
product or something like that and they'll tally that all up and because obviously with them they have to you know take a chance with that person I mean obviously you hear I don't know if it still happens anymore where um they get paid to do a positive review um and I know that was like going around like a few years ago but or even then some of them do get paid but getting paid is a way of sort of like bribery look we're paying you so you know do a good review and stuff but usually you can tell which of the channels that are really honest and which ones aren't like there was one where i just i haven't subscribed to it ages ago like years ago because it's got to the point where it's like yeah you know, i don't think you're being truthful so i just unsubscribed to her but you can usually tell um between the ones that are honestly being honest and the ones that aren't now i remember seeing this was quite a while back it must have been a year ago um where this was where this design anyway i don't know if it's by the same company can't hold you by that but there was a kickstarter page um on like earphone he uh, headphones with um you know kitty ears that light up um obviously since they actually officially went out like you can just get loads of them so i don't know if this is actually from the actual company but yeah i i've always wanted these obviously these i doubt they are because these is like nine pound 99 um i mean i did get it from tk but max but there's no other price like Oh my right! I saw a bag in um, TK Maxx, and it was um, oh, what was it? Um, my brain isn't working. It was um, it was a Juicy Couture bag, and it said the price of it, which was ninety nine dollars. Then it said what TK Maxx was selling it, and they were selling it for thirty five. £35 I was so tempted to get that but the only problem with having that as a work bag is because it was I don't use an umbrella I rarely use an umbrella I usually would just wear a waterproof um so it would get soaked because it's fabric it would just get completely soaked and everything in it so I in the end I just didn't get it but it was a pretty cool backpack but it's like cinnamon you don't need any more bags apart from a work bag but yeah so I thought these were pretty cool my mum was like more headphones I was like yeah but they light up and she's like why would you want headphones that light up and I was like because why wouldn't you like come on guys like light up why would you not want them I can get I can get, get that irritation that could be for people around you <laughs> where the corner of your eye they can see just this flashing this flashing light right next to them but yeah shame they're not bluetooth though they're just plug-in ones but i'm guessing if they were bluetooth then the um obviously it'd have to carry batteries for the actual um ears to um light up i love how this didn't come with an invoice even though i paid for um what's it for warranty unless they just emailed at me the warranty i don't know but that that's that's a mistake so this is what so i can't really tell you the price i can't remember the bar, but it was around like 30 something but this is the breval turn on creativity blend active now the reason why it's called a blend active is because this is a cool part guys so it comes with two bottles so all you have to do is stick your obviously what you put in in here to blend and then you know close it at the bottom or whatever i'm not sure how it works but basically you just take off and drink as you go or take it with you which is pretty cool that's mainly the main reason i got it also it literally blends it blend, blend, blends anything ice knots and um, stuff like that so yeah so it says here are delicious and healthy melon raspberry and pomegranate smoothie is that like a recipe yes, i think so um, instructions which I don't really need to read at this moment of time. Open it up. So these are that's the bottle and then that's the cap and then this is another bottle. So I'm guessing so it comes with two bottles so I'm guessing when you need to blend something you take the top off and then stick that on there and then you stick it in the blender like that because it's got the blend thing there I'm guessing so 
see, we don't we don't need instructions, guys. I know what I know what I'm doing. And then open it up. Oh, and this is the actual blender and it's plug and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty much simple as that really. It's a simple, easy to use blender. Even though I've not used it yet, but it looks pretty, pretty, you know, pretty easy to use. All I need to remember is actually you can't even make mistakes out of this blender of it coming out the top. You know when you see like films and stuff or on TV programs or whatever, when they don't put the top on properly and it just freaking goes everywhere. This, you, you're not going to have that trouble. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So I can't wait to try that. I probably won't try it today. As I said, it's going to be one of those things where I'm like trying to get in the extra calories. So it could be like usually in the beginning of the week or something like that. Rarely weekend I don't have enough calories because I have enough at the weekend. Especially on the Sunday because of the Sunday dinner. That makes it a lot heftier. So yeah. So this is pretty cool. It's actually got recipes in it. So it's got from protein shakes to um, smoothies. To be fair though, making smoothies and stuff isn't that it's not rocket science so like it's pretty easy to do just mix a load of fruit together or vegetables um oh my god it's got instructions how to do a frappuccino i did actually think about that i thought i could probably do ice drinks now like an ice mocha and stuff like that because i actually saw in um tk max they had like um what was it again it was like uh you know i can get um Syrups. I had a mocha syrup. I was tempted to get it, but I thought, should I? But yeah, it just told you how to. Um, that's pretty cool. So yeah. So if you are wondering how to like make the shakes and stuff, then this there's some instructions here. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, it's that. Other than that, it's just plain instructions on how to use it and stuff. But I mean, it isn't rocket science, and uh, it's kind of obvious if that makes any sense, but yeah. But then again, um, oh, but it says here, your blender can be used to crush your eyes, but for the best results, um, to prevent damage to the blades, always add a small amount of liquid to ice before processing. It does run by batteries, the lights. No, I didn't think they did, but whatever. It's still women call if these were Bluetooth. Jilly juice. Just, 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 just search jilly juice, Dr. Phil. I, I have, I have no words. I, I, I have no words and people wonder why Trump's president. I, 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 I have no words, guys. I'm, I'm traumatised at how stupid people can be.